Morning, guys. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom at the Pathfinder School. I've got the Stevens 301 shotgun out here today. A lot of people have kind of asked me for some follow up on that. And there's nothing wrong with this shotgun. I've used it quite a bit. And I'm going to use it today in some demo stuff with the short lane arms adapters. So you'll see that it's got a modified choke screwed into the end of it. Um, what I like about this shotgun really and truly is it's inexpensive and it does have screw in chokes. So it gives you that advantage that you might not have over a single choke shotgun, like a modified h &R or something like that. You do have the advantage to be able to screw in chokes so you can get longer distance shots if you use a full choke, and then you can change that out if you need to for other applications. So that does give you advantage of this gun over maybe something like the h &R. But these adapters will work in just about any break open shotgun. So don't worry about what brand you have. As long as you have one that's a modern break open shotgun, they'll work. Now, we talked a little bit in the last video about why I think the 12 gauge is the best all around gun for a woodsman. And it really boils down to exactly that. I mean, it has so much versatility. And one of the things that we talked about in a video the other day was this stack pack of adapters here. And we're gonna do some shooting on video today with this stack pack. But I wanna give you a little bit of information on this stack pack so that you have it going forward with how this thing works because I haven't really done a full video for YouTube on this stack pack. So we're gonna talk about it in a little more detail today. We're gonna to look at a couple other adapters as well and talk through why using adapters can be important. And then we're going to take a few shots with this stuff so you can actually see how well it does or does not work with the ammunition intended for these adapters. So the first question I would say really is, why would you use an adapter in a shotgun to reduce the caliber? Well, it may be something as simple as you have a certain amount of rounds or a certain load that you're carrying with you. And in the time of emergency, if that were to arise, you may have to scavenge rounds from someplace else. And so very common loads anywhere in the United States would be 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 410, nine millimeter, possibly 223, more likely 22 caliber. And so carrying things that can adapt a single gun to those calibers could be important in an emergency. <clears throat> it could also be a situation that I use quite a bit in that you wanna carry a shotgun while you're hunting or for hunting game while you're on the trap line, but you don't wanna use a shotgun to put the game down. So you can do two things. You can carry a sidearm, which I do a lot of the time anyway, in like a 22 caliber, and then you can carry an eight inch rifled adapter, which this is an eight inch 22 rifled adapter from Short Lane Arms, gunadapters.com. And you can put that in the gun to take a more accurate shot at a distance. But even a three inch non-rifled 22 caliber adapter like this that fits in this pack is plenty accurate on a six inch target at 10 or 11 paces. And it can be more accurate if you shoot it more often. I haven't shot this three inch non-rifle adapter. I'm not sure I've ever shot it, to be honest with you. If I did, it was 10 years ago for a video, but most of the time I use the eight inch one. But we're gonna take three shots today and you're gonna see I've already done it. And you're gonna see that those first three shots out of the gun with this adapter kit, the stack pack, are not horrible bad at 10 paces. And if you practiced with that and understood where those rounds are going to land versus the aim point or within within reason, you could probably get pretty good. But you'll see in this video that I was able to put two of those 22 rounds in about a half inch circle inside the six inch circle and all the rounds hit within the six inch circle at those 10 paces right out of the gate with the first three rounds through the gun in the stack pack. Now, people say, you know, okay, the rounds are gonna tumble. If it's not rifled, they are going to tumble coming out of the gun or keyhole in the target. However, they're not going to hit the side of the barrel going out. That bullet is traveling, whether it's a 22 or a 45 long Colt, that thing is traveling so fast. You couldn't move the gun fast enough probably to make it hit the side of the barrel after you fire the round. So don't worry about hitting the inside of the barrel, but it is going to tumble in the air on the way to the target once it leaves the gun for sure. However, that's only going to affect accuracy at longer distances and at shorter distances, it's not going to matter if it's an emergency. If you're on the trap line and you had something like this and you just had to put an animal down, and you didn't have a sidearm, you could do the same thing. And 
One of the things that I do, I'll tell you now, I carry an M6 Scout a lot in 357 over 410. And I use the 410 adapter in one of those ammo holes for 410, and I tuck a few 22 shells in there for exactly things like that. Close range, where I don't want to put a big hole in something like on the trap line, and a 357 is too powerful, and a 410 makes a mess. So a 22 up close and personal, coming out of this, even if it tumbles, leaves a very small hole in a hide. So there are applications for all of this. I also want to show you a couple other tricks today, um, along with that muzzle loading adapter. And we're going to actually shoot the muzzling and adapter today out of the Stevens 301 so you can see that in action as well because we did shoot that muzzling adapter in the last video we did not however talk about the stack pack in the last video and the stack pack is basically a scavenger type kit and that's the thing you have to understand this is i ran out of ammo and i found something else and it's a common caliber so it will go from 20 gauge in the 12 gauge to 410 gauge in the 12 gauge by stacking the next insert in or 45 long colt non-rifled barrel and that's just a bonus that 45 long colt it's really meant for 410 and then the last adapter that slides into that stack pack is your 22 non-rifle adapter so you're actually increasing the versatility of that 12 gauge in the same space it would take to carry one 12 gauge shell in your kit you're increasing it by four more calibers by doing this so again, long-term strategies for prepping and things like that, this gives you versatility that you won't have with a single gun and single caliber. Now, if you're gonna use it all the time, like I said, this eight inch adapter is much better suited for things like walking around the trap line with a 12 gauge to hunt, but also put down game with a 22. This is a much better option or carrying a sidearm. Using the right tool for the right job when you can is important. But being able to improvise in certain situations is also very, very important. So we're going to look at the accuracy of this kit today. And I'm also going to talk to you about a little trick that Ray talked to me about with the 20 gauge adapter and a 20 gauge breech loading adapter for 209 shotgun. We looked at the 12 gauge 209 shotgun primer. We're looking at a 20 gauge today and what it can do in conjunction with the 20 gauge adapter for your 12 gauge because you can actually build a a shell which would be a 20 gauge shell that you can shoot out of your 12 gauge in this cylinder and not have to muzzle load the not have to muzzle load the gun either. So we're going to kind of talk through that today as well. All right, one, two, three. All right, now let's check out the 45 long Colt on the same target. All right, there we go. One, two, three. Okay, I drew a new six inch circle with a bush pot lid on that board. That's an eight inch wide board right there, up to like eight, nine inches. But you can see where I shot it with the 20 gauge on the other side, it pretty much blew it apart. So you're not gonna be able to see the way the 410 patterns unless I turn the board around and we shoot another round at it. So we'll zoom this out so you can see where I'm standing, about 10, 11 paces. And we'll go back 
in on it so you can see what the round does. Let me get this camera studied up for you here. So there's our 410 pattern at that distance. No doubt in my mind, that thing would kill game. So the 410 is not a problem. Obviously that 20 gauge wasn't a problem. All right, so we just shot the 410 and I shot it in a different sequence of videos so that you could see the pattern of that separated from the 20 gauge, not overlapped. Um, in my mind, you know, the whole genius of the stack pack really, really, really comes down to exactly that. It comes down to the fact that I can take a 12 gauge and convert it from 20 gauge to 410 very, very simply. The 45 long Colt, that's just a bonus because it's the same size as 410. And the 22 just fills a gap that's already there in the adapter to put in your bag in the case of an extreme emergency or because you needed to use a 22 that wasn't gonna leave a bigger hole in something, like I said, on the trap line or something like that. But the genius of this, being able to go from very common calibers of 12 to 20, 20 to 410, in and of itself makes this kit more than worthwhile having. And again, it doesn't take up any more room in your kit than a three inch 12 gauge shell would in a shell holder. So now let's take and go from that and let's talk about what we can do with this 20 gauge adapter if we plug in a 20 gauge 209 shotgun primer to load a shell that we can put in the gun instead of muzzle loading it. Bear in mind, this is made so that you can turn a 20 gauge into a muzzle loader. But with this 12 to 20 adapter and this 209 adapter, you have now created an empty shotgun hull made from steel. Okay, so looking at this from a different angle and really only for more versatility's sake than anything else, okay? We've got our shot. We have, excuse me, we have our shot and we have our powder. Again, it's Pyrodex powder. We have our powder measure. We have our cleaning tool that cleans out our 209 Shotgun primer adapter hole. If we push this adapter into the 20 gauge adapter, which it's made for, we've now created an empty shotgun hole, basically. Now we can take powder. Add it to the shell. If we want to use sheep's wool, we can use sheep's wool, but we can also use these plugs, and these plugs are cheap enough to buy by the hundred, and I usually split them in half when I do this. And I'll split one in half and I'll push it down in there. Now you can use just a stick, if that's what you've got, off the ground to push down inside this thing to tamp that powder down. And now you're going to take a load of shot, You may not be able to fit the entire load of shot in here and be able to plug it off. So just go close to the top with it, just like that, because your adapter is taking up some room. Your 209 shotgun primer is taking up some room inside here of this shell. And then just take the other half of that plug, put it on top. You have to push it down in there good because it's 412 gauge, right? And just compress it in there very good with that stick. And you now basically have a 20 gauge shotgun shell that you've loaded up. Remember, this is made for 12 gauge. So the volume of shot for a 20 gauge is different. So don't have too much of a heart attack about dumping part of that shot back in the shot pouch and not being able to fill up the cavity there because 20 gauge is different. We'll take a 209 shotgun primer and we'll put it in here. And basically now we have created a shotgun shell. That's 20 gauge that we can shoot from this gun, so let's go do that. All right, same scenario, zoomed in. Lock this bad boy in the gun. All right, there you go. No doubt, that 20 gauge, plenty accurate enough to kill game. All right, guys, so 
There's our 209 spent primer. There's our shell. And there's our 20 gauge muzzle loading adapter inside that shell. So that's just another way that you can utilize this system in an emergency would be to actually load a shotgun shell on the fly in the 209 shotgun primer and 20 gauge from 12 gauge adapter sleeve, which gives you basically an empty shotgun shell. So I just wanted to go over a few of these things with you today because there's been a lot of questions on some of the posts I put on social media as of late about accuracy of some of this stuff. And again, you know, your most accuracy is gonna come from an eight inch rifled adapter if you're talking about pistol calibers or small rifle calibers. But as far as shotguns go, you can put these 20 gauge adapters in there and these 410 adapters and they're gonna be plenty accurate no matter what, especially if you've got a full choke screwed into that thing. And if you look at, one thing I wanted to point out to you, I noticed on this 410 adapter, you can see that there's a forcing cone on that 410 adapter. So it's keeping that pattern tight coming out of that adapter. And then when it comes out of your gun, whatever your choke dictates is going to help with your pattern as well. So we're shooting a modified choke today, screwed into this Stevens 301 that a lot of people have asked me about. It is plenty reliable and plenty good of a gun for the 100, 120 bucks that it costs. You know, if you're looking for an inexpensive option, I would definitely say that's it. There's nothing wrong with that gun. But the versatility of these adapters helps you be able to prepare yourself for emergencies and other situations where you might run out of the main ammo that you have and you have to scavenge your ammo from somewhere else. Or if you need adaptability while you're out hunting or on a trap line to be able to switch back and forth between calibers, maybe something happens to your pistol or your sidearm and you just want an eight inch adapter that will match your sidearm ammunition that you may be carrying so that you can use the shotgun to shoot that ammo because something's happened to your pistol. Things happen, life happens. We need to be prepared. We need to think about options and we need a plan B. This gives you lots and lots of plan B, C, D, E, and F in any scenario. Listen guys, I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video in this 21st Century Long Hunter series as soon as I can. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it.